I get this in the phone thingy. Right. Hi. So. Uh, right, so my previous. Um, uh, I've got this on the screen. Right. <clears throat> so I've got snooker running at the moment. So I wound some more coils, uh, 1.3 milli Henry actually. And a lot better, works a lot better. So I need to pop these wires over here. And I've got some more to wind. Uh, try not to break wires off here. Bit fiddly. So, yeah. excuse the snooker. <laughs> so that capacitor out of the socket. Right. So <clears throat> these are the two I wound, and they're a bit fat and chunky. Uh, so I'm still full of cold. Right, so basically, I better pause the snooker actually because it's annoying. Um, my switch that I made um, works pretty well. Um, it's a little bit temperamental. If I get it in between the connectors and it's not directly on one connector, it can be a bit twitchy, but that's okay. It's experimental, so <coughs> it's all about finding the right resonant um, reductor and delay line for the circuit. So basically, what I do. Um, let's take some of this wire off this one because I've got to. This is the long wire that's on this one. Um, I've got to rewind. I want to wind, rewind both of these, the same as those. I've got this wire stick. I need my pliers. It's hard work when it's really that thick. It's uh, it's uh, pretty stiff stuff. This I think it's 18 SWG that's on here right now. So what I'm using now is basically the the the, the yellow um, uh, cores, the yellow inductors. I'm actually I'm going to order some more because I want some. Uh, I need some more of these really, and I want to get smaller ones if possible. I mean, look at that wire. That's <laughs> that's what you call wire. That's thick stuff. Very thick. Um. So what I'm actually using in replace for this wire is the 26 SWG, which is pretty close to AWG if, you, if you're in America. I suppose it won't matter that much. It doesn't really matter. It's not that critical. Um, a delay light is switchable. I mean, um, actually, I'm going to try and take this other end off because this is getting so long it's hard to manipulate very hard to bend it when it gets really long. Take the other end out of here because um <coughs> so if you've got sewing skills, I mean it's the difference between winding wire and winding cotton isn't a great deal different. Uh except for the fact that wire's very, very stiff. And that you need pliers sometimes. You do when you're doing this kind of wire. So right, another reason why I left this one until later because sometimes you can stab yourself with a wire and it's uh, yeah, it's kind of painful when you do that. Right, I have no idea why I wouldn't put great big thick heavy duty wire on this truck. I have no idea. It must, it's years ago since I did it. I don't know what I was using it for, but probably some kind of a filter choke or something. But this wire is a bit overkill. I mean, it's very, very stiff wire. This. I mean, it's that stiff. It'll hold my blooming scissors up. Look at that. Right. Um. <clears throat> so what I need is 
I get my ruler because it's it's a lot easier to measure it because the number of turns always comes out the same anyway. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to measure a length of wire which has got to be basically one foot. Uh, well, it's actually thirty centimeters plus. Well, I'll put a nick there on the nail. 30 plus uh, 10 uh, 14 so that's basically uh, 44 centimeters long so 44 centimeters long is there <coughs> so I'm gonna cut that there so I've got 44 centimeters of wire, which is what I'm going to wind on this toroid. <coughs> <coughs> so what I'll do is the easiest way of doing this is to basically put it down the middle. So I've got the same amount of wire on both ends of sticking out. That way, when I start, when I finish winding this end, I'll I'll wind the other end. <coughs> so I follow this damn curl. It's really awful. Uh, there's not a lot to mind in the choke really if you get the right ferrite material which is critical especially if you want 1.3 millihenry with this length of wire it's got to be the right kind of density of uh, car material and yellow is probably the one because this looks like a yellow car to me <coughs> <coughs> it helps have a dot top <coughs> when you got cold and you talk it irritates your larynx and it makes you cough more so You see, I'm not coughing now. Now the other end. Should be about 1.3 millihenry when it's done. 
We'll test it. <coughs> oh, yeah, I need to unwind this other end a bit because I need to burn the ends off. It's easier. Bit of sandpaper to clean the copper ends. Or emery paper, whatever you want to call it. It's wet and dry anyway. Right, I'll finish winding this on. Right. Well, that should be about <coughs> one point three million. We want to check it. I've got to wind this other one as well at some point. Might as well do because I need two more. So get my meter across here. <coughs> right, stick it on inductance. Uh, I'm getting mixed up with colours now. That one's got to be done yet. This is the one I've just done. Uh, stick it on inductance. Uh, I don't know if you're able to see that properly, but it should be able to do. Right, let's check it, see what it is. Oh, interesting. Hang on a minute. One milli Henry. Well, one milli Henry is the target, so that's great. 1.01 .01 milli Henry. That's weird because the previous one I did was 1.3, and it must be the, in the inductance, the actual material must be slightly different on this one. <coughs> but one milli Henry is the target, so that's okay. That's fine by me. Actually, this wire is a little bit. Um, it's a bit longer on this end and it's a bit short on this end. That's probably why it's not come out right. Um, can I get another turn on that one? No, I can't. Do I want to rewind it? Well. Ideally. It needs to be the same as the others. <coughs> the way I've wound it, I've actually got a bit more on um, one end and uh, the other. Uh, let me see. If I, yeah, well, let me just see a minute. Um, What the hell? I'm going to redo it. 
I like it to be right. So this one was a short one, so this I need to pull a bit of that wire. It doesn't take long to do. So I'm not worried about doing it again. What I'll do is I'll start at one end, I think. The other one, the other one came out fine, though, but I just want it to be a bit higher because the others are 1.3 milli Henry. This, this is about 1.1, 1.01. I'll take all the wire off, anyway. So I'm just going to straighten this wire out. The best way to do that is to wrap it around with a piece of steel like a screwdriver. And grab one end of it. The screwdriver is shiny so it's not going to scrape anything off uh, wrap it around twice like that well once and then pull it ah I've got a bit of friction burn right straight my wire out now so it's dead straight right so this time I'm just gonna I'm going to start at one end, have enough so that I've got that right then, and it should be good. Um, you can start from the middle if you can measure it exactly right. Ah, come here, it keeps flicking in there. Right. I don't want to get a kink in it. when you wind your long piece you get kinks all the time if you're not careful it can wrap and then you get a knot I don't want a knot it's not so bad now it's getting shorter I would anticipate that it should be 1.2 Billy Henry when I've done this because I did I probably cut it a bit shorter than I should have done but eh, it's gonna be fine we're not dealing with rocket science here I keep forgetting about the camera so yeah if I drift out of view yeah 
uh, you can leave me a comment because I don't know. I'll probably notice later if I want decide to watch it again myself, but I usually don't bother. Uh, Well, it'll probably come out at one point or two. With one extra turn on there, which is probably what I'm going to get. Because I said there was a bit of wire, one wire was a bit short, the other one was a bit too long. Um, so that extra amount should be right now. It should be even. Usually you can rewind this stuff about two or three times before it starts to, yeah, you start to get metal fatigue. On the copper and stuff and yeah you risk breaking it but it's it's okay it's new wire so <coughs> it should be fine <sighs> nearly that i think probably Two turns, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, we've got more turns on. <coughs> Only what an extra turn, I think. Right. Uh. to get in the four milli henry range see what we get oh look at that 1.3 milli henry oh my god what a difference it makes just getting an extra turn on there <coughs> 1.3 milli henry which is what the others were so Check that again. Come on. All the wet the other ends look a bit it's bent up. One point three, <coughs> one point three million Henry. Wow, I know. It's amazing what one turn does. I'm basically getting point three of a million Henry per turn. <coughs> right. So that one's ready to sold one. If I haven't left that leg too short, I should not. It should be all right. I'll go through the bar there. Just checking it because it's got to basically go where that one is there. Ah, oh, that'll be fine.
Ha, huh, the other one's still a bit longer than this one. Freaking heck, wait, it's alright. So, what I'll do is I'll use some of my plastic goopy stuff to stop them wires from. Oh, I know, the end's gone hard. I'll hold the wires in place when it dries. <sighs> right, so I'll let that dry for a few hours because <clears throat> I'm not going to be putting it on just yet. <coughs> I will wind this other one as well. So, take this wire off here. This is really thin. This one's been wound like a transformer. I uh, I didn't wind it. It was manufacturers or something. But it got two windings on it. It's stuck on the varnish as well, so it doesn't come off as easy. <coughs> uh, whoever, whichever company wound it, <laughs> has varnished it, so. <laughs> I might actually stick this in an acetone bath to see if I can soak off that varnish because it's ugh. it just makes it winding easy when you do a new one. Otherwise I'm winding on top of varnish which is not a good idea really. Well it means I'll use more wire if I'm winding on top of varnish because the circumference will be larger. If I'm winding on top of varnish, I'm, I think I should, I should have said. <sighs> yeah, whoever wound this has wound it in two, basically, looks like two layers of, they've wound two wires on at the same time. Which is pretty standard for a transformer, for these anyway. Two birds with one stone, I suppose. Come on, ah, I can't get it out. This is the varnish has been a pain. I got you right. Oh, this is really goopy. There's stuff all over it. Uh, that can go in the bin. That <sighs> it's not lit wire anyway. It's just ordinary thin copper wire. That. <coughs> yeah, I think I'll. Um, I've got a container with some acetone in it. Which I can soak it in. That's not the one.
Uh, I can't seem to find an empty one that's got. Actually, I'll just. I'll just squirt some acetone in this one. This is empty, there's nothing in it. So if I put that in there, acetone, soak it for about an hour, that should clean off all that crappy varnish. I hope. And my shrimp is empty now, so. Add a bit more because I want to make sure it's submerged. Right, that can soak in there for an hour, and uh, <coughs> you kind of get the idea. I actually decided on this board when I was making it not to um, uh, not to put the silk screen directly on the board on the fiberglass because it's pretty dark fiberglass and it's hard to see the writing well i decided to use a paper piece of paper and print it on the inkjet and stick it on there it's only a beta beta it's only a prototype so i'm not bothered what it looks like it, it, the contrast is better i can see the writing better on it and um, my eyes are bad as it is so uh, but in future, when I do, if I perfect this and get it right, I'll I'll, I'll probably put the silk screen screen directly on the fiberglass. <coughs> but for now, it's good enough for what I want. Anyway, that's just a little project um, update. On, um, I'm just gonna take this out of here. If I can get it out. Oops come out right so there's the one I've just wound oops and I'll put a bit of blue goop on it to dry it'll hold the wires in place and there's the one as I did before I actually put a bit of goop on there as well but I did it afterwards and it holds them in place. A bit of blue, blue tack on the board. So those are the two. They need to be really, the varnish needs to be removed off those as well because it's kind of fat and bulky. You know, it looks to me like they've wrapped it in some kind of <coughs> fiberglass tape. It almost looks like fiberglass tape that they've covered them with. I don't know. It's hard to see. I can see the fibrous material on there. <coughs> anyway, we'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. Yeah, focus is gone. Gone. Air wall. Anyway, um, that's it for now.